Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo about Siemens PLC's routing capabilities. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. What is S7 routing? S7 routing comes in help when the transfer of data beyond S7 subnet boundaries is needed. Data can be sent from transmitter to a receiver across several S7 subnets. S7 routing is possible via various S7 subnets, like Profinet, Industrial Ethernet, Profibus. To be able to use S7 routing all but last one device must support S7 routing. All the devices must be configured in step 7. As CPUs play the role of an S7 router, the routing information is obtained by downloading hardware configuration to the CPU. Let's take a closer look at this setup. Here we have a two CPUs connected via Profibus. PGPC is connected to the first CPU via PNIE1. The task is to access second PLC, that is on the Profibus subnet. First of all you need to make sure, that your CPU supports S7 routing. You can find that information in the description of the CPU. All you need to do is browse the hardware catalog and find your CPU. Here you can see, that my CPU supports routing. So I will be able to access the second CPU via first one. I have two CPUs, first one is S7 1516 3 FPNDP, second one is S7 1214 C. Both CPUs are on the same Profibus subnet. Make sure that your PC is connected to the first CPU. Let's go online to verify it. As you can see I can access first CPU via selected interface. My task is to access second CPU, which has no PNIE subnet, it is connected to the Profibus subnet. As both CPUs are in the same project there is no need to take any special actions. Let's try to access the second CPU. Click on Go Online. Select the subnet that your PC connected to the first CPU. As you can see, by selecting PNIE subnet of the first CPU, TIA portal adds the PLC1 to the first gateway automatically. Click on Start Search. As you can see, second PLC on the Profibus subnet has been found. What happened? Let's get back to the setup. Here you can see, that PGPC sends request to the first PLC, which makes a route to the Profibus subnet and enables access to the second PLC. Click on Go Online. Second PLC is accessed successfully. Let's say, that your setup is the same, but PLCs are in different projects. Here I have a 1214 C CPU as single station. Physically it is connected to the 1516 CPU on the Profibus subnet. To access it via PNIE subnet you need to add dummy 1516 CPU. Let's do that. Create PNIE subnet.
Now make a Profibus connection between two CPUs. All is done, let's try to connect to dummy PLC. So as you can see connection is established. Let's try to connect to the first CPU. Again, let's select PNIE subnet. TIA portal added first gateway automatically. Click on search. Well, timeout has occurred as connection establishment has failed. What happened? Well, the problem is that routing configuration in the online CPU differs. It needs to be fixed. First of all let's switch to another project. What do we have here? CPU 1214C has Profibus address 3. CPU 1516 has a Profibus address 2. Let's make sure that it is the same in separate project. In my case Profibus addresses matches, if not, you need to change them. Now we need to compare S7 subnet IDs of Profibus subnet. Here we have ID as follows, D717, 1. Let's switch to another project. As you can see, here we have a different S7 subnet ID. That is why connection cannot be established. Let's copy the subnet ID to the other project. And finally let's try to go online. Select correct PNIE interface. TIA portal added second PLC as first gateway automatically. Click on search. This time PLC has been found. Let's try to go online. Online connection successful. That is how S7 routing works. If this video was helpful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.